the opportunity to lead the BIS Innovation Hub Nordic Centre and deliver work that has such global reach and impact is incredibly exciting, particularly at a time when technology and innovation is moving at such a rapid and dizzying pace. As a society, the challenges that face us are global in nature. Our digital world is borderless and our financial system is intimately interconnected. Now more than ever, collaboration on technology and innovation between our financial institutions and countries is crucial. In this regard, the Bank for International Settlements, with its global membership of central banks, can play this leadership role. I'm incredibly honoured to be able to lead the BIS Innovation Hub's Nordic Centre team to collaborate with our central bank partners in the region, but also our network of innovation centres around the world to understand, experiment and apply new technologies to show policymakers what is truly possible and what could be achieved if we challenged ourselves to think a little differently. My broad background in technology in a variety of roles, including leading on large data and digital transformation programmes, coupled with decade-long experience in a central bank and working internationally, is invaluable in my role in leading the BIS Innovation Hub Nordic Centre. I played a leading role in driving innovation during my time at the Bank of England, including work on central bank digital currencies. I designed and delivered a number of high-profile projects for the pioneering and award-winning FinTech Accelerator. I was also a driving force for RegTech and SubTech within the organisation, and my department won the best use of RegTech at the 2018 Banking Technology Awards following the conclusion of a large data transformation programme. I've long been an advocate for innovation in central banking and regulation, for keeping pace with technology, for building solid data foundations that enable innovation to take place, and for harnessing digital opportunities that could make these institutions more effective operationally, and importantly, designing policy outcomes that could be better achieved through applied use of data and technology. The Nordic Centre will be focusing on four themes. The first is central bank digital currencies, next is cyber security, next generation financial market infrastructures and also green finance. We're starting with two projects. The first is Project Polaris. Project Polaris looks at secure and resilient offline operations for central bank digital currencies. In doing so, we'll detail what is required to operate highly secure and resilient infrastructure and also what is needed from the secure, trusted end user solutions that will be used every day. The second project, Project Aurora, will look at the components of a new data architecture that will ultimately use artificial intelligence and network analytics um, over centralised payments data to identify patterns of bad money. Over time, our portfolio of projects will expand, but a core theme for the centre will always be cybersecurity. The Nordic region is one of the most forward-looking and innovative regions in the world, and Stockholm amongst the top startup ecosystems globally. Being in this vibrant fintech and business ecosystem, where some of the world's most well-known businesses have come from, has an osmosis effect on us and immerses us in this culture and mindset. Locating an innovation hub centre in the Nordic region is a testament to the innovative culture of the countries and our host central banks. For example, the Central Bank of Sweden, Sveriges Riksbank, was one of the first to get hands-on in exploring central bank digital currencies. The Nordic societies are becoming cashless rapidly. It's very rare that people carry and use cash. Instant payment apps like Mobile Pay in Denmark, Swish in Sweden and Vips in Norway are used regularly for everyday transactions. There is a high level of digital literacy in the populations, which is embedded from school, as my children are finding out firsthand. By and large, digitalization has been, had a positive impact on society for making everyday payment services, as well as other public and private services, more convenient and more eff effective. However, digitalization and the trend towards cashless societies has caused difficulty for certain groups for example, the elderly, people with physical disabilities, and those who, who live in remote areas. It is therefore important that we take these factors into consideration when designing new and innovative solutions. 
Innovation should always be inclusive and we must strive for affordable and accessible services to ensure digital and financial inclusion. The way we use money and choose to pay is not a one-size-fits-all model. Importantly, cyber security and cyber resilience are at the forefront of people's minds because the services they depend on are increasingly digital. The public sector has a really important role to play in working with the private sector to ensure that the services that people use every day are secure and resilient. In this regard, the BIS Innovation Hub can play a leading role in identifying the critical trends that can support central banks in their mandates. Thank you.